Hello everyone, James from 360 Hub here. Alright, so I'll try to set up a website for a client on WordPress and uh, I ran into this error. It happens often, sometimes, depending on the hosting service you are using. And I know some of you might be having this issue as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you briefly how to clear this error on your back end so that you don't have this issue. If you, if you, if you install WordPress on your site or you log into your site suddenly you see your back end distorted like this you can see the way it look if i refresh it you will see that nothing happens right so this is how it looks right at the back end so if you want to solve this issue this is the video for you to watch so the first thing you want to do is log into your cpanel and when you log into your cpanel account you just go to file manager so i'm going to just type file manager here and click file manager or you can just you can go through the section and look for file manager right now once you log in once the file manager opens what you want to do is look for the root directory right if you have more than one domain in the zip in the control panel you want to click on the domain directly you will see the domain here right but in this case just a single domain in this hosting account right so what i want to do is come to the root directory which is this all right so you click on that now once you click on that we're going to look for WP config file, right? So you can see it here. You can see the file here. Once you click on the root folder again, just come to this session. You can see WP config, right? So what you want to do is right click on it and hover. You can see edit here. So you want to click on edit and you're going to give you this message. Just go ahead and click on edit to make it open in a new window. So you click on edit again. And this will open now we'll go to control find control find we're going to type force here and hit enter now this is the line we are looking for at line 82 but you will see this line of code here right this is the line of code you're looking for right so what we want to do is get another line of code right beneath this one so i'm going to leave the code in the description below for you to copy it from there and use it if you have this issue so what you want to do is come right here this is the code you get the code from the description below copy this code right and just copy then come to this section hit just click at the end of this line then you can tap enter twice on your on your keyboard then paste the code right here now after pasting the code what you want to do you want to click on save changes now after clicking on save changes you cannot visit the site now if i refresh the site it should be displaying properly now you can see that it's not displaying properly that is how you can fix that error if your wordpress backend is not displaying properly if you like this video if it help you in any way like it you might want to share it and if you're okay with you can subscribe to this channel so that when we release new videos like this you will get a notification thank you see you in the next video